forth to the game. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Kenny Atley welcoming you to the State Palace Theater, great venue here in New Orleans, for our main event of the evening. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two, but now it's time to walk the walk. Try to satisfy the audience. That's a quick way to be going to the shower earlier than you wanted to. Halfway through round number one. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. And now he scores with that left to the body. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there for getting hit. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Tommy Hearns. That left hand over the top, he's accurate with it. Comes right back with some offense of his own. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Hearns' defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Last 10 seconds. Good shot to the head with that right hand. When he misses you with a bunch of counter, counter, don't waste your punches out there. Be smart on your time is a foul. Burns is back. Look at him here at the start of this round. Remember, he got packed hard in that last round. Well, that's the reward you get when you have a good camp and you get yourself a top take. Watch the headshot. Tommy Hearns is almost looking foolish that time he missed so bad. Double jab there by Tommy Hearns. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Jones is doing a really good job of being defensively sound, of being patient, 
and waiting for that golden opportunity for some offense to come. Well, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting for a mistake to be made. You know, he wants a lead out of his opponent right now so he can make a miss and bang, come right back with that hook. Now he's just walking him back a bit there up against the ropes. Burns is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Halfway through round number two. Turned that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Come on, give me! He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter-punching. Tommy Hearns with a big right hand. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Right back to the body. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Round two. Hearns has got nobody to blame but himself. I mean, he got hit much too much in that last round. Well, he was throwing his punches from too close. He's giving up his height. You throw from that close, and you're going to get counted over. If your opponent wants to do that, guess what? His opponent wanted to, he had the desire to do that, and he took advantage. opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Troy Jones Jr. snapped by a right hand. Boy, he was damaged, but now he's defending himself well. Jones is rocked by that punch. Oh, he got to Roy, and Roy's tying up. And now Roy does not have what he had before, where it was all his way. Now he has to show a little creativeness. Creativeness, not offensively, but defensively. How to survive. Hearns is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Go look at right hand after he got hit. with that headshot. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Double up your jab. Keep moving. Drop your head. Combo lands upstairs. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Listen, take his jab. Take his jab. When he throws the jab, keep moving, keep the hands moving, and you'll beat him to the punch. Four here. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard, or 
score. He's up two rounds to one. I like his work rate, Ted. You know, he's not landing all the time clean, but it reminds me a little bit of some of the old pads used to say to me, Teddy, Marciano, we love Marciano. You know, the rock. He used to hit guys on his arms. He wasn't hitting them clean, but he was breaking their blood vessels. Excuse me for being so graphic, but he was breaking their blood vessels and they, they couldn't keep their arms up. That's how they got to the eighth, ninth, tenth round. That's kind of the way this guy fights. is showing us that his legs may not be completely underneath him the way he wants them to be after being stunned earlier. He's really hanging on in there. He's tying up a lot. Yeah, but he's being allowed to. I have to say that right now as a trainer, that he's allowed to do that. His opponent should not cooperate with him. He should take a little step back and make sure he takes advantage. Don't let him tie up. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Tommy Hearn. Not much action as he just ties up. Oh, he just misses with that head shot. Well, something's got to stick. He sends a combination to the body. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Jones is the target of a hook. One of those fights were at the halfway point. I wouldn't even venture a guess as to what the scorecard should look like. And I don't know that it even matters. All I know is this. Both guys have brought their A game. Both guys have come here to fight tonight. What you know is that it's become a real war of wills. Two stubborn guys, and they're going to continue to argue right to the end. I want to see you get to the end. Do you feel the road? now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break. Oh, and a non-stop rolling attack puts him down. Unable to 
to land that ball. And big and away he goes. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. Um. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a 